So in continuing the series on this channel, talking about the GOATs of the WWE and wrestling in general, and I talked about Shawn Michaels, I talked about Bret Hart, two people that I easily think could be in there. And there is a comment that said, John Cena. Now, John Cena is not somebody that I would make the case myself for GOAT, but this whole series is to make the case for the GOAT being John Cena. And I'll be honest, it isn't that hard when you go off of accomplishments. If we stay out of the in-ring stuff, and that is not to say he is not uh, a good in-ring performer, because I think he is. I think he's actually doesn't get enough credit. He's you know much better like a guy, a guy like Hogan ever was in the ring, and I'm a, I'm a Hogan fan. But the accomplishments alone, 16 total championships when it comes to the WWE Championship and World Heavyweight Championship, 13 for the uh, WWE Championship, three for the World Heavyweight Championship, five-time United States Champion. Um, he's a, a four-time tag team champion. Um, that was with The Miz. That was with Shawn Michaels, um, Batista, and who else would the other one have been? David Otunga. Um, he, won, he won the Rumble twice, won in 08, which was probably one of the best returns ever when the crowd popped for him, even though they were booing when he, before he got hurt. When he came back, nobody could help but cheer there. Uh, 2013, he won. He won Money in the Bank 2012. Um, he's a 10-time Slammy Award winner, which, you know, is a little silly, but it's the WWE's awards. Um, he's obviously going to be an immediate first bout Hall of Famer. Um, the amount of make-a-wish things he has done, the amount of uh, that he has transcended in social media, almost more than any besides The Rock. You could obviously make an argument for Stone Cold and, and Hogan, but I think Cena is more known than, than almost anybody besides The Rock and has transcended social media and, you know, just the entire world um, when it comes to his presence. So that alone is so impressive. It, it, it takes a real legit superstar to take it from wwe and be successful out of it in movies and tv you know there are guys that i love that tried you know stone cold never really became a huge uh you know star when it came to tv or movies tried randy orton um you know tried but it didn't go very well there, there's a decent amount of these guys that are very successful but can't get it done so an overall goat for cena i think his accomplishments speak for themselves his move set although some of it is predictable you know the five knuckle shuffle and um some of his moves you can't see me stuff i used to think the people's elbow was a great move when i was a kid looking at it now a little bit silly a little bit unnecessary probably wouldn't hurt anybody same thing with the five knuckle shuffle but you know you got to just respect the art form of it um the fu back in the day was a great move um you know, always a fan of how Cena sold his finishers, and, uh, and I think he could sell well. He's not afraid to uh, sell for for guys and and, and uh, put his body on the line, which I respect. Um, and I also respect how much he respects the business, the craft for it. It's easy to hate John Cena because he wears giant, you know, uh, orange shirts that say "Believe" and and has arms the size of Popeye. But at the end of the day, it, it's. You have to respect him. It's been, what, 20 years in the business, um, performing at such a high rate, high level. Um, I respect him. I really do. And I and if somebody said he was their GOAT, I would not be upset with it. I wouldn't even argue against it because, you know, maybe 10 years ago, but now that we're 20 years into that career, I think he deserves the respect uh, that we should be giving him. Um, and also, you can be honest, as much as it... I think that theme songs count, and I think having a good theme song throughout your career is a huge plus. I think Edge and guys like Randy Orton have really succeeded from that, Jericho, uh, you know, in the previous 15, 20 years. But he definitely, in my opinion, has one of the – it's it's iconic. I mean, you hear the horns, you hear everything come. It's, it's a big deal. Um, and whether you love him or hate him, you're, you're reacting. I've been to many shows that Cena was at where half the crowd would cheer, half the crowd would boo. But the volume level, no matter where it was, if it's North Carolina or Philly, Chicago, it was loud when Cena came, comes out every time. Now, I've never seen an event where Cena didn't get a reaction. And, and that's not to mention that he has really great mic skills. I mean, coming into the... WWE doing his raps I always thought were genuinely good sometimes they were corny but I was always like okay I think he has like a a platinum album a 
platinum rap album that was actually decently acclaimed. I don't know if I've ever, ever really listened to it, but um, he's like one of those guys where if he does something, he does it well. And he, and, he, and he looks like he really puts the time and the work into it and doesn't just half-ass it, which I think a lot of people just slap their name on something and call it a day. But I always have been impressed with John Cena's work ethic and the fact that I think that he, uh, you know, he, he really tries in everything he does. So, you know... John Cena can be considered the GOAT, and I am totally fine with it. Let me know who else uh, in the comments here that you would want to see me talk about who is the GOAT, the greatest of all time. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 100 subscribers. You can be that 100 or get us right there. Make sure to like the video as well. Thanks to Pete for letting me on the channel again. I've been enjoying it, and I'll see you guys very soon here on Wrestle Rant Studios. Bye, everybody.